in the hashtag how to blender on Twitter, this question came up. How do I clone stamp in the image editor? And I haven't done this in years. I remember it being pretty bad and I got bad news and good news. So the bad news is that this um, tool, it's, uh, it's just as bad as I remember it. Remember, remember it, it's a clone tool. You can uh, change some settings, but basically it's really clunky. What you would expect is to basically just set a point where you want to clone and just start painting that cloned image, right? doesn't work like that. You can, um, in the advanced panel here on the settings, you can choose an image and you can uh, clone that. You can move that image with the right click and move it around and basically just just that. Basically that, that's the whole thing you can do. You can just adjust the alpha and just paint and whatever you paint is gonna paint the, it was gonna clone it in the back. So it's far from ideal. Also, for example, if you lose if you don't know where do you place it and you want to reset that, you can't. The settings say Delta, so as of 2.83, it's not ideal to use this method. However, good news is that there is still the method that I remember using, which is instead of cloning, you're basically going to um, draw a um, with the stencil. So that that actually works works better because. If you um, basically, instead of um, cloning, you just use a texture. For this, you need to make a texture, it's a bit clunky. So in under texture, you can select, for example, in this case, the same image, the head diffuse. And um, if you select the same image, when you paint, it's gonna, what you paint is gonna clone and it's gonna be cloned again in the original image. So, um, well, let's see how it works. Otherwise, you have to make a copy of that image. Um, so I set it now as a um, as my texture. I need to change the mapping from tiled to stencil. And now, when I move, when I have the mouse over here over the viewport of the the, the 2D viewport, the texture image can be dragged with right click, just like in the clone mode. But you can also rotate with control click. And you can do shift click and uh, right click to go up and down shows you can make it you can scale it up down and this is like another way of cloning <laughs> yes it is cheating but uh, at least I got, unlike the clone brush you can go here and change the angle back to zero you can set the offset the scale this is also a bit weird this scale actually is if you put it like four you're gonna see the texture is tiled four times. And that's not what you would expect, right? Like it's a tile size instead of just the actual size, which you can control again with the shift and right click up and down. So for example, if I want to clone a mouth uh, here in the cheek, I will just go and maybe map it of the same size and just put it over there. If you reset the transform, it's gonna reset it to the size of to the original size. So for example, if I go, I press home to reset the um, the size of the image and fit everything on the screen and then reset transform, it basically maps one to one. So you would have the same the same size so you can clone around. And if you move, uh, if you zoom in and out, the image in the background is not gonna zoom in and out. So it's not completely ideal, but it's a workaround you want to remove the mouse, you can kind of do it. And um, it, this works also in 3D, so it's a nice technique to learn. If you go to the 3D um, viewport and you change over to texture paint mode, you can also paint here with a stencil. So you can uh, scale up with the same shortcuts and then paint kisses all over, <laughs> all over rain in this case, this character from the Blender Cloud. So yeah, it's, it's still, uh, Texture paint mode in Blender needs some love, especially in the 2D viewport, um, but this is what we have. However, the clone tool is not completely useless. It has a very nice uh, option here in the viewport that allows you to clone from a different slot. So in this case, for example, I'm painting in the texture slot uh, rain head diffuse, but I can clone from a separate um, um, slot. So in this case, if I have the same image in both sides, I would be basically cloning. 
but I can clone from a different one. For example, in this case, the roughness doesn't make sense to clone the roughness in a diffuse map, but you get the idea that you can copy basically um, texture from one to the other, from one slot to the other. So uh, that was all for the cloning slash stencil. Yes, a cheat is not really how to clone, but this is what we have as of 2.83. Maybe I'm missing a feature, so if you uh, know um, something that I'm missing, a feature that I'm missing, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions for how to Blender, leave them in the comments. Bye-bye.